Active Investor here, bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol OREX, and this is not just an independent analysis, but also a trade review. Now you can see here on the chart, I actually have two red lines, a red square, and a piece of text. That piece of text is from my chat room at activeinvestors.net. You can see I alerted OREX at 7.42 a.m. Now, why is it 7.42 a.m. when the market opens at 9.30? Well, it's because I live on the West Coast. I have to be here three hours before the East Coasters. When they open at 9.30, I got to be here at 6.30 in the morning. So three hours ahead. So 7.42 was 10.42 on the East Coast. So I alerted OREX to the chat room there that we could see another breakout at the daily resistance of 289. Now, if you look at 7.42, that line is going to the time slot, and then we see the line coming up. So we have our... Uh, red line right here, right? And then I drew it to 742 and I followed up to the candle. So when I alerted OREX for another potential breakout, it was right in this area right here. Let me change my color to purple. So there we go. That's when it was alerted. And sure enough, pretty much right after I called that out, boom, the thing flies up to the 320 pivot point, gets denied there, falls back down to the bottom support here. And it almost broke support. The average is kind of combined, but then boom, it came again, channeled up in the upper channel, which we had between 305 and 320 and then boom surely enough about an hour later makes that high of 355 so this was a very solid day trade that we hit i personally played it myself and got out a little too early it had more juice than i expected i didn't think it would really push too much higher above the 320 pivot point but sure enough midway through the day it did end up getting 355 so this was a very solid play a very nice call out and it was a pretty easy one pretty straightforward so really i think this was a pretty good job all of us who played it those of you who did congratulations good work Pretty good money made today on OREX. And though it even broke out further than I expected, it was a pretty solid call there. 7.42 a.m. is pretty spot on. Now you can see the averages. It hung out above the 50 SMA almost the entire time. It did end up bouncing above, uh, or rather breaking below the 50 SMA and then bouncing above it a few times, namely here. And then, of course, over here. And then over here, it broke down below. And that's when the trend kind of ended. When the candle really breaks below the 50 SMA, I'm kind of done for it for the day. It did end up coming back a little bit on this pop, but it was a really dangerous pop. And it sold off into the after hour, into the uh, close. And then you had one more push up into the close there from 310 to about 340. So that was a solid push there at the end of the day. And then look, massive red bringing it right back down. So these pivot points are absolutely in effect. You can see they played out perfectly. So let me tell you guys who are watching the video what those pivot points are. You can see here on the right-hand side, and it's pretty much that. So 320 is this top pivot point. Then we have $3.05, which is the middle pivot point, and $2.90, which is the bottom pivot point. Normally, I'd write it out for you guys, but you can see here on the right-hand side very easily, $3.20, $3.05, and $2.90. So these pivot points will still be in effect for tomorrow. Keep in mind that we will have to break above $3.20 again, but this thing can definitely run again tomorrow. So I would be watching this. I'll have this on the watch list. It's actually had a pretty solid uh, last few days overall, not just today. This has been a pretty solid stock. Let me double-check my uh, other screen here. I believe it had two, yeah, exactly, two green days before this. So actually two days ago it was at $1.70. Now it's trading at $3.40. That's a 100% gain in three days. So this thing absolutely has some swing material as well, especially if the trend continues. And on the daily chart, I think it will, because as I mentioned, that daily resistance was right at $3. And uh, or rather, it was right at $2.90, not even $3. So the fact that that daily resistance broke at $2.89 made this thing run all the way at $3.55. So as long as it stays above $2.89, we could see this thing being pretty bullish. But if it breaks below $2.89 again, I'm going to be bearish. And I think this thing would be more likely a short. But anyways, pretty quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, please subscribe. Please stay tuned for more content like this. And please consider joining us at AdamMeasures.net for plenty of awesome plays like this one and many others. I'll see you there.